You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. The Deputy Commander-in-Chief of the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces and Commander of the Army, Lieutenant General Hun Manite, met with the National Assembly President of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam on Monday evening. EAC News reporter Anthony Ellis has the details. Vietnamese National Assembly President Vong Dinh Hu is paying a five-day official visit in Cambodia 19th to 23rd of November 2022 to attend the 43rd Asian Inter-Parliament Assembly in Phnom Penh. During his visit, he has discussed bilateral work with the President of National Assembly of Cambodia, Heng Samrin, and also paid a candidacy visit to the President of the Senate, Tsai Chung, and Prime Minister Hun Sen. The meeting with Lieutenant General Hun Manet was held in a warm, friendly, understanding and trusting atmosphere with a focus of continued to deepen its ties and solidarity. Traditional friendship and cooperation in all fields between the two countries and especially between Cambodia and the Vietnamese youth. The two sides hailed the continuous development of bilateral relations in direction of good neighbourliness, traditional friendship, comprehensive cooperation and long-term stability. The two sides also noted with appreciation the past bilateral cooperation in fields including diplomacy, defence, security, economic, trade, investment, health, education, tourism, culture and border issues. The two sides expressed their mutual commitment to further strengthening ties. In addition, they also affirmed that the people-to-people -people contacts, especially among young, have greatly contributed to bilateral relations between the two countries. The President of National Assembly of Vietnam and Lieutenant General Hun Manet agreed as brothers and good neighbours to continue maintaining close ties between the two countries, youth for the benefit of peace, friendship and development. At the same time, the two sides affirmed that they will increase cooperation and mutual support in multilateral forms, both regional and globally. Anthony Ellis, EAC News.